Hi, my name is Ryan Young of RK Studios. I'm a professional music and post-production engineer by day and an amateur musician by night. About a month ago, I was one of three lucky winners to receive a pair of these Sterling MX-5 monitors, thanks to Sterling and Performer Magazine. Uh, throughout the past month, I've been putting these speakers through the ringer and testing them in various music and post-production environments. I'd like to share my experiences with you. Immediately after unboxing the speakers, I noticed the size of the speakers. Using common sense, because they're five inch speakers, I didn't expect a tremendous amount of low end to come out of them. However, in my case, the size of the speakers ended up being an asset for my needs. The inputs on the back and the switches and the power of the built-in amp were all pretty impressive and seemed to be pretty good quality. The first bit of audio that I played through the speakers really kind of blew me away with these little guys. The volume knob was maybe at 10% of full scale and they were loud. More importantly, the signal remained super clean the louder it went. The speaker had a great stereo field without any blind spots, no phasing, no weirdness and the speakers could be placed far apart, they could be close together, and it, it had a nice stereo image. I first started off with mixing some music tracks that I had recorded, mixed, and mastered a few years back. I chose to start with these because I knew how every bit of audio was supposed to sound. So as I said before, I didn't expect too much low end to come out of these speakers. Luckily I had a subwoofer with bass management and I tuned the Sterling speakers to match it accordingly. Once I had my 2.1 setup ready to go, I found myself deep in the mix just like I was a few years ago. switched to 5.1 and switching back. After spending some time on the vocals I started to think of ways I could use these speakers for post-production, specifically dialogue, ADR, voiceover, and ADR and voiceover recording. Luckily, I had an ADR session scheduled. I used one of the speakers as a monitor for the actor, where I would preview the production dialogue and output the ADR beeps to cue him in for the recording. For ADR specifically, this is where the MX-5 excelled and was perfect for my needs. The clarity and tone that's output by these speakers is exactly the range of the human voice. And due to the small space in my studio where I recorded all the ADR, the size of the speaker really helped me out by fitting perfectly behind the podium. Wait, no, please, listen. Okay, I might not get the timing right, but if you can uh, hold it up or something. Sure. There you go. Yeah. Wait, no, please, listen. Lastly, I tested these speakers as the alt setup of my post-production mix stage. Uh, my main setup is a 5.1 system and I use these as my alt 2.1 setup. And again, I was using the same subwoofer of my main 5.1 setup. It was the same setup that I used for my music mix. So with my audio interface, at the press of a button, I'm able to seamlessly check my film mixes between 5.1 cinema surround sound to my down mix 2.1 with these near fields and this would allow me to check what the average consumer would be listening to. Having this at my disposal made it easy to check how the average consumer would hear the mix versus how an audience would hear the same mix in a theatrical environment. switch to the 2.1 down mix.
one back to five one. for dialogue especially. Super clear. Really full, rich sound. On behalf of RK Studios, thank you to Sterling and Performer Magazine. These MX-5 speakers will continue to be an essential tool in the post-production facility.